Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. <laughs> so uh, the other day I was watching um, Serpent Zede's video and he was explaining um, that the Wu Maos are always, always after him. And not only after him, but also after his family. And they are threatening, threatening him, threatening his wife, threatening, uh, threatening people around him. And uh, I, I wanted to react to this, to this because it's also happening to me. It's also happening to me. Um, even today, as I'm back to France, uh, and as I was very clear uh, that uh, I don't have any political aim or my videos are not against the Chinese government or anything and even today I get these wumaos who harass me so one thing that you can see very clearly whenever I post a video even on the French channel immediately I will get like 10 dislikes or 20 dislikes from these guys uh, so you, you, you can give me some help because you need to fight this, this, this <laughs> you, you need, I need to rebalance and you need to fight, fight, fight these guys. Even on the French channel, just go to the French channels and give me some, some help because whenever I post a video, they, so that's one thing that they do, okay? But that, it doesn't stop there. I also uh, receive some threats, so physical threat all the time. Uh, they disclose my address, uh, my phone number, this, this kind of stuff. So I, I, I well, now my parents will know, but but uh, that's that's what they do. They're crazy, you know. And there are several things that I want to tell you. So first of all, Serpent Zede was saying, oh, Chinese people are cowards in his title, which I think uh, is a bit a bit stupid to say this uh, in a way because uh, the, these are no not Chinese people. These are Wu Maos. And the truth is, it's, it's not it's not Chinese people. This is the the Chinese government. This is the Chinese government. They are the Chinese government. They are not random people, as I explain quite often. They work for the Chinese government. Uh, the whole society is organized. Uh, they belong to some students' association. They belong to some association online. And indirectly, they work for the government. And this is where the system is very clever. Because the government, uh, the Chinese government plays on both sides. On one side, they will ask these guys and give them, uh, give them some re rewards. They will reward them. And on one side, they will tell them, hey, you need to check out the internet, you need to control, you need to push the party, you need to push this. And they will, they will communicate with them. And on the other side, no matter what these guys do, the government uh, is not behind their back and they, they can always pretend, oh, we have no clue who are they, why are they doing this, we, who are these people, you know, these are, you see, they don't, they don't take any risk, they don't take any risk, so that's very tricky, very tricky, um, but this is the Chinese government, so make no mistake, uh, so this, this is what I want to tell you, um, and, and, um, yeah, of course, and this is the message also to the, all these Wumaos, you know. The more you're pushing me, the more the more I will answer you. The more you're pushing me, the more I will answer you. Because as I see it, it's my, in my freedom to express myself. And if you disagree with me, that's fine, you disagree with me. But uh, then we have different opinion. I'm not going simply to, to be scared of you, you know. I was not scared in China. I lost my job. I was almost kicked out of the country. I could have been sent to re-education. Uh, I could have been stuck in China for months. I was not scared of it. So you think I'm, I'm scared? You know, no, I'm not scared. I'm not scared of you. I am expressing myself, you know. And of course, uh, when you think about all this, you, you might tell me, oh, it's the same everywhere. It's the same in the US. It's the same everywhere. And yes, yes, it's the same everywhere. You know, e e even in the US, you see what's uh, start, uh, uh, happening to Julian Assange or uh, other guys like this, you know, or uh, so it's the same for these guys, you know, they just express themselves and they're sharing some important information that they have access to and in return they risk their life, they give up their freedom, they give up everything and and it's the same, this is how it happens, you know, and, and all of a sudden, and I know some people to who, who it happened, 
you, you, you travel to the US and all of a sudden they open your luggage and they find out that you have, uh, or they, 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 op they take your computer, open your computers and they find out, oh, you have pedophile photos on your computer. Oh, you have pedophile photos. You are a pedophile, you know. Or they open your, 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 your suitcase and they find out you have illegal drugs or you are doing some kind of trafficking and you end up in jail. You know, that's, that's how it happens. So, uh, of course, you become paranoid. You become paranoid. And that's the whole strategy. They will push you to the limits until at some point you break down and you want to stop. You want to stop because maybe you're scared or you want to stop because you're always be becoming crazy in your head. You think, oh, this is guy following us or uh, uh, they called my, uh, my grandparents or uh, uh, they threatened me at my work or they start to threaten my, you know. <sighs> And it's, it's really terrible. So, uh, yeah, thank you for your support. And I just wanted to... It's, the, it's like a man's hand. The man's hand, you know. This man hunting. Man hunting. They, they hunt you. And uh, they do it all the time. This is, you, you, you target the individual. You target the individual. That's what they have done to me. You know, you target me. You target Serponzele. You target the individual. And you try to get rid of him. You try to get rid of him. But I, I'm not afraid, you know. I'm not afraid. You see, uh, Serponzele, you often see it. I'm, to, I'm walking in the street. I talk. I'm 40 years old. I'm not afraid to express myself. So I have nothing to hide. I've, I'm do also doing nothing illegal. And I'm certainly not discussing any politics or anything. And it's my freedom. I have my own opinion. I'm not really unsafe here. This guy driving too fast and you cannot cross because of this. Uh, you see, even in France, huh, it's like this. Uh, when I'm in China, I tell you quite often, yeah, there is no pedestrian path, but this is the same, this is the same. They are just, okay, you, you have to cross the road, okay, the road is not so, so wide, but it's the same, same, same issue, same issues. Okay, let me leave you for now, I talk to you soon, à bientôt les amis, thank you for watching.